The sweep is another feature available for creating and removing material in Inventor. Generally, the sweep is used to create geometry that is more complex than what can be created with extruded and revolved features. The main difference between the sweep and the previous features we've seen is that the sweep feature requires two separate sketches. One sketch is used to define a profile, and the second one is used to define a path. Additional sketches can also be used as guides for more complex sweep features. However, this topic is beyond the scope of this course. Here, we will focus on creating a simple sweep. The shape I would like to create is a bent tube. To do this, I'll sketch a circle for the profile and then create a separate sketch for the curved path. I'll start with the circular profile sketch. Note that when you start a new part file, by default, Inventor starts you in a sketch on the XY plane. Keep this in mind. I'll sketch a circle, add a dimension, and click Finish Sketch. At this point, if I were to click the sweep icon, Inventor will let me know that it requires two visible sketches. Now that we have the profile sketch, let's create the path. To do this, I'll need to start a sketch on another plane. I'll expand the origin folder, and as I hover over each of the planes, you see them highlight graphically. Depending on which way I want the tube to bend, I can either select the YZ plane or the XZ plane. I want the tube to bend downwards, so I'll select the YZ plane and start a sketch on it. I'll go ahead and click on the view cube to look directly at my sketch plane. From here, I'll start the line tool and start the path on the same center point of the sketch. To create the curve, remember the trick I taught you in the arc tool? With the line tool still active, I can bring my cursor back to the starting point of this segment, click and hold down my mouse button, and Inventor transitions into an arc. And when I release the mouse button, Inventor switches back to the line. I'll sketch one more line segment and finish the path. At this point, I'll click Finish Sketch, and now I have the two visible sketches in the browser that I needed for the sweep. To get a better view, I'll click on the corner of the view cube to get more of an isometric view, and click the Sweep button. As with other features, you can see all the various options and settings for the sweep. These first two buttons are the most important. This is where I tell Inventor which sketch will be used as the sweep profile and which will be the sweep path. Since there was only one closed profile here, Inventor automatically selected it as the profile for the sweep. With the Path button depressed, I'll select the Curved Line Sketch, and the preview updates. Notice that as the path curves, the profile changes direction to match. This is because the orientation is set to follow the path. If I change the orientation to parallel, you'll see that the profile does not change direction. This results in thinner geometry as the profile is swept along the curve. I'll switch this back so it follows the path. There's one other set of options I'd like to quickly point out before wrapping up. In the Type drop-down, you see the options to use a path and guide rail, or use a path and guide surface. These are tools that you can use to further control the shape of the sweep, but as I mentioned a moment ago, they are beyond the scope of this course. To complete the sweep, I'll just click OK, and it's done.